Okay, I'm starting on the uh, Ford Explorer, dismantling everything. First, I'm going to take off the fenders and the doors, and, and then that just makes everything easier to get to. Uh, objective is to do a frame swap. This Explorer is a 5 liter, 180,000 miles. It's all wheel drive, so it, it's a good candidate. It's got analog brakes, four wheel disc brakes. It's got uh, uh, 8.8 inch rear axle with 373 gears. And uh, I think every body panel on it has a dent. The interior is pretty bad. Oh, you can't even get in the doors. So they're all broken. I think I fixed one door that you can get into. So it's it's pretty much a rag. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna use the DAC instrument cluster or not. But uh it's been just storing parts in it recently and I figured it'd be a better to make something out of it. It's really cool and uh have a good tow vehicle with it. So see how the doors are coming off today. I started taking this fender off. I'm going to take everything off the front. Not much on the front. And uh, get started. Right now, I'm looking at doing a frame swap with a uh, 49 through 53 Studebaker truck. I think that's going to be amazing. Trucks look really cool. So, Alright, so this is the first step. All right, let's just give it a gentle tug. Lift up slowly, slow. All right, hold right there. Fuel lines are good. Anything else looks good. Okay, go ahead. That's good. Don't go any higher than you have to. I think everything looks good. I don't see anything else. Yeah, she's free. Give it a little gas. Oh, careful. Just be careful. All right, bring it down lower. Easy. No, oh, stop. That's good. That's progress right there. Good job, Cody. Wow. It's a whole lot different now. The Ford Explorer has been cut down to just the bare floorboards on the front and cut the windshield off just below the windshield frame the hood is just being held on there with a strap just in case the wind get a big storm or something it wants to blow off it's just sitting there to keep the water off the engine so it doesn't get ruined steering column still connected but I'll probably be taking that I'll probably be taking that off so that it'll make it easier to put the cab on. Under here, hardly anything left. Just left all the heating and air conditioning. The main setup there. Overall, it's coming along pretty well. I'm definitely going to have to cut this area right here to make it more narrow. Especially towards the front. Um, the, the hood kind of turns in the fenders turn in a little bit so I'll definitely have to be cutting on that but uh all in all it's turned out pretty it's coming out coming along pretty good I managed to find some change and a sharpie so <laughs> everything's going well so not sure how I'm gonna hang the 
the gas. Um, be too tall. I have to shorten the hoses and everything. And um, haven't done any investigation into. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming these are the charcoal canisters for for emissions. Um, the jack. I mean the the uh, winch for the spare tire that normally hangs underneath it. Um, it sticks up pretty high, as you can see. So I'm not sure if that's going to stay or not. I, I'm thinking about leaving it though because that way I won't have to make a special provision to hold the spare tire in the bed of the truck and I have more more room for cargo and etc. So we'll find out. The bumper's going to have to come off because it's not going to match the truck. So the front bumper's already off. So so far so good. Let's see, I'll back up and get one more view of it.